Did she have one of these? What is that? LeChuck's be Oh, I saved his beard. Still alive and wriggling. What? He stuffed it in his pants? Boy, it is alive. Oh, God! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. And I guess we're picking up right in the middle of things. Um, I have yet to see a title screen for this game. So um, I guess I am Mr. Monkey Island dangling uh, desperately seeking some help. Luckily, a kindly uh, adventurous woman has gotten here just in time and she is going to save me out. Started out on Scav Island. Some, So I guess this is a bit of a recap for Monkey Island 1 if you haven't played it. Monkey Island is an old-school LucasArts adventure game, and uh, <laughs> it came on a set of 11 discs for the Amiga, and so we actually have to take a break for a second here and swap some discs. I remember having to do stuff like this back in the day. Like, this is so old-school. Like, you'd have, like, a stack of, like, 7 or 8, or, like, 11 is excessive. 11 floppy disks, and you would have to be swapping back and forth, back and forth to, like, get to the uh, the game you wanted. Um, there has been an enhanced release remake of this game since it first came out. Um, and I guess we could be playing the, the enhanced CD version. We could have music and stuff like that. But to be totally honest, like... Oh, we, uh, what, what? We totally are getting music. Oh, I, I bite my tongue. I was going to say, there's something about going for the authentic old school experience, even if it doesn't have music that's kind of awesome. Um, you know, having to fiddle with 11 discs is something we don't have to deal with these days. Like, I think Monkey Island here in total is like 12 megabytes or something, but back in the day, a disc could like not even hold one megabyte. So you'd have to have all these random discs. And look, we got dancing monkeys even. Look, they're doing, they're doing an awesome job, actually. Look at this. Hey! You guys, get out of here! Shoo, 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 little monkeys. <laughs> so in typical LucasArts style, this is an adventure game with a lot of sort of panache and humor. Um, and uh, so we're going to be exploring it a little bit today. Um, unlike some of the adventure games I do on this channel um, that I actually beat because they're, they're games that maybe I've played growing up. I've never played this game before, never played any Monkey Islands before. Um, today is just going to be a sampling of Monkey Island. Um, I don't think I'd be able to uh, beat it, so we're just going to go see what the whole Monk Island universe is about. Check out this game and uh, see uh, see what's what. what's what. Uh, I mean, that's basically what we do on this channel, right, guys? We go from uh, game to game in that Thousand and One book. It tells us what to play, and we play it, and then we tell it what we think, and that's sort of the process. That's the process you're all joining in on today. So, <laughs> another disc flip. Hold on. Okay, did it, did it take it? Does it read? Okay, it accepts it. There we go. Um, one neat thing about this game is that when I was first uh, booting it up, it actually asked me which mode of puzzles I wanted to play. So this is one of the rare uh, adventure games that actually has levels of difficulty for the puzzles. Um, so I bust in a church and I say, now you're in for it. No, I didn't get it. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, I can't take it anymore. Uh, I think... I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear the story one more time, I'm going to be crying myself. Nyuk, 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 nyuk. Don't you have any new stories? Hey, that, oh, I thought the guy had a bottle for a hand, but I think he's just holding a bottle. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, okay. We'll let this banter sort of carry on in the background. Um, these LucasArts games are known for being sort of very humorous, but like in, in total, total honesty... Like, I feel like maybe when I was a kid, I might have enjoyed the humor more. But nowadays when I play them, like, I kind of roll my eyes at a lot of the jokes. Like, it, it's... And, and I mean, they're, they're supposed to be sort of eye-rolling-ish uh, humorous jokes. But uh, I, I can't say that I've ever actually, like, laughed at anything that I read in a LucasArts adventure game. Again, not not saying they're not funny, but just sort of their humor is sort of... It's sort of like that dad humor, you know, where your dad makes puns. And it's sort of, you know, he makes a joke and then he pauses and laughs at you. And like in your head, you hear, but dum dum because it's like, it's not a laugh out loud joke. It's technically a joke, 
But it's one of those jokes that you just real sort of roll your eyes for. Anyway, this game offered you levels of difficulty for adventure for the puzzles in the game, which is actually kind of cool. Um, a lot of games just like I've never actually heard that uh, uh, of that before. In fact, so a lot of games didn't even do that. I mean, in fact, most games didn't even do it. So you could, if you want. Um, so he's talking about how he wants to become a legend and a big legendary pilot, uh, pirate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But a lot of games, you know, you just went in and whatever level of difficulty it was, it was. But uh, this one, unable to find monkey. Wait, 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 what did that say? I didn't even see what that said. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, when it wants me to insert a disc, that notification won't go away. But when there's some kind of weird error message, like, that might be important for me to know, guy. Like, maybe don't take that off the screen immediately. The Largo Embargo. Um, so you can sort of play a, a toned-down version of this where the puzzles are actually really easy. And I think the developers joked, even, that, uh... Um, that the toned down version was for reviewers, you know, they're sort of like, if you don't want a challenge, go ahead and try the easy puzzle mode. I, I didn't choose the easy puzzle mode, um, uh, mostly because we have the power of the internet on our side these days, so we can always look up what to do next if we really get stuck. Um, and for adventure games, I make no secrets about the fact that I do do that, because, especially for games I've never played before, you do not want to watch me sitting here for half an hour, like, stumped on a, on a puzzle. It, it's, no fun, it's no fun for all parties involved. Anyway, we have riches, which seem to include dollar bills, and people's IDs, and gems, and gold bars. Huh, interesting. Alright, so, uh, what, what do we do here? Is the game stalled already? What the heck just happened? Oh, there was like a loading phase to like load this guy. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are ya? Uh, there's a toll on this bridge. You gotta pay. He's gonna take all our riches, isn't he? Is this some sort of bribe situation? I'm sure take all my money. I don't want any trouble. I feel like that's never the solution in life. Who's gonna make me, shorty? Uh, I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. How about that? I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. See? See what he says to that. If the game can load it. Tough guy, eh? Oh! Oh, he's, he's like benching me over his shoulders. Help! Police! Why would a pirate call for the police? Uh, I feel like I, the jig is up. He knows I'm not a real pilot. There's no police on Scab Island. What's he gonna do, drop me into the water? Put me down uh, and I won't have to hurt you. Not my new coat. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Oh man, police brutality. Always a, fun, a funny joke to, uh, or funny topic to joke about. He keeps the law and maintains order. How about put me down and I won't have to hurt you. Let's let's uh, we need a tough guy for you know facade here, guys. It's like when you go to prison, you gotta beat somebody up right away so that you don't get the one you don't become the one who gets beaten up. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wh wherever you go on sea or land, you can't ever hide from Largo Le Grande. Okay, he just walked away. Did he mug me? Did he steal my money or no? I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Wah, wah. You guys are probably rolling your eyes right now. Exactly, right? Exactly. Okay. Um, oh, all my money is gone. All right, well, uh, it was nice being rich for like 10 seconds. Um, but since I don't know, I like I. how many adventure games do you start off being stinking rich, right? So like, whatever. We're not rich. That's how this game is going to go here. All right. So when you find yourself lost in a pirate village with all your wealth having been stolen from you, uh, it's time to go into full on hobo mode, which is basically what all these old adventure games um, did. They, uh, they, you were sort of uh, very hobo-ish in your attitudes. You sort of picked up absolutely everything that you could. Um, and then just sort of tried, you, you like MacGyvered it all together to have like have an adventure. Like what are, these are just like a collection of ships that are all like marooned here together. Okay. Like the only thing we can interact with is the sign. So like, there's definitely something going on with the sign here. Let's go ahead and, uh, pull on the sign. I feel like I have my audio muted, but there's just, uh, you know, literally 
like no music going on here. It, it does kind of make me sad that we didn't decide to play the uh, like a CD version of this. Maybe we should actually just like look at the sign. The Bloody Lip Bond Grill. Ugh. Uh, does not sound like the kind of place that you'd like to eat. There's nothing I can pick up out here. Usually there's like sort of something, something to like start the game. Like, okay, hold on. This is another sign. Let's let's take it. What what does this one say? Uh, welcome to Wood Tick. Uh, no treasure hunting zone. All right, let's try and pick up this sign. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we pick up the sign? What is that? It is. Oh, I am picking up something. The game has stalled. What disc does it want me to load into? Uh, oops. I think the sign broke. Okay, we have a shovel. Awesome. All right, let's abandon this uh, place. Oh, we can actually. Oops. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> now I got to load a whole nother disc. I was just kind of being silly. Of course, I was going to go explore this like pirate town. Unable to find some kind of file. Um, our pirate town, she be corrupt. Oh, but she does have music. Okay, so here's the town. We have a cemetery, wood tick. Anywhere else to go? The swamp? Wow, lots of places. Ooh, a beach? We should explore each of these places. Okay. Um, you know what? You know what? I often sort of whip out a tutorial and like let it like guide me through the uh, different areas of the game for these adventure games, just so I can like uh, showcase the game to you guys for a bit. I feel like those were like four cool areas. There was like a swamp, a beach, this place, there was some other place. Why don't we put all tutorials aside today and let's just let's just do a little exploring on our own. We're probably not going to get off this island. I've made my peace with that, but we can get a sense of like what Monkey Island is is like by just exploring on our own. So this is going to be like a legit honest exploration. So with that in mind, let's just start rummaging through these random doors and seeing who we find on these various discs. Who be waiting for us on disc 2, yar? It's taking a while to load here. It's making me kind of worried. Oh, no. It, 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 I thought it was going to stall. Hey, look, a workbench. This is like a little Pinocchio shop. What do we got going on here? Nails. Okay, let's try and pick up some nails. Get away from there. I need all of them. All right. Um, can I give him a shovel to the back of his head? <laughs> Thanks. Don't need it. All right, let, let's talk to this guy. See what's going up. What are you fashioning there? A young boy for your uh, amusements? Uh, what's the problem? Um, or, like, why was Geppetto making a young boy? He wanted to be a father. Are you fashioning a young boy out of your desire to be a father? What's the problem with the Largo guy? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Hey, let's ask him that. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I remember practicing that sentence a lot as a kid. A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since woodchucks can't chuck wood. Um, I remember that tongue twister a lot as a kid. I remember practicing it because I wanted to be able to say it. Um, but I mean, like, I mean, I guess, I guess it did have an application in the end. Who knew years later I'd use it to say the sentence on YouTube without messing it up. But anyway, but if woodchuck could chuck uh, and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount? Of wood, would a woodchuck chuck? Let's see what he says. I like how the other option is, oh, shut up. So uh, we're going to we're, we're carrying this on further. Maybe he will be dazzled by our grammar. Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? Woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck chuck wood. <laughs> Or, oh, shut up. It's always an option. You know what? In every conversation you've ever had in, in real life, that oh, shut up line is always an option. Um, okay, let's ask him about Largo. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He literally robbed me of like a billion dollars. Uh, he really goes against my grain. I like to make an end table out of him. Uh, but I don't have the guts. Uh, with all my tools, I'm still unable to create one thing that could do this island some good. Uh, which is what, an all-night tattoo parlor? Like a voodoo doll of Largo La Grande. Oh. Oh, yes, yeah, so I, I did read that this game has sort of, sort of like, uh, like voodoo aspects to it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, are you some sort of chef? What are you fashioning there, young man? Tell me. I'm a woodsmith, which gives me, uh, gives one of a... Pfft. 
I didn't even get to read what he said there. Um, okay. Well, uh, has you got anything else here? Workbench. Can we use your workbench? How about that? Um, hey, I wouldn't touch that. No, anything? Anything else? Oh, there's a chair. Can we pick up your chair? Or could we use your chair, I wonder? Just, like, sit in your chair? Uh, no. Okay. Well, we'll leave this guy to his fashionings. Well, there we go. We had a little mini adventure. The micro adventure. Jay's amazing adventure in the woodcutter's hut. It's a relatively benign adventure. Not too much happened. A bit of tongue twisting occurred. And some whittling of wood. But I hope you were satisfied with it. What do we got going on in here? What disc dare waits us in the darkness here? We have found a child scribbling maps on a piece of paper. Um, all right, young lad, tell me your tale. Or is it uh, an old guy? Oh, yes, hi there. Can I help you? I don't know why, but I've su for some reason I'm like doing a British accent for everyone. It's not intentional. These things are just happening to me. I'm as much a victim of the accent as you guys are. Uh, I'm Guybrush, Guybrush Threepwood. Uh, ghost busting stud. Oh, yeah, I am. Also, Threepwood. He sounds like uh, an ancestor of C3PO. Okay, I'm a ghost busting stud. Um, am I trying to pick up this, like, homely looking map maker? All right, well, that didn't, that really didn't do anything. Okay, what's this guy got going on here? Anything? Walk to map. Let's take a look at his map. What are you fashioning there, young lad? Show me your map. It is nice. It pleases me so, and thus I will allow you to continue producing said maps. There's nothing else here that interests me, and I will be gone. Um, I mean, I guess this is what happens when you decide to just leave your front door totally open in the middle of the night. You're just going to get walk-ins, man. You're just getting... well, That's why I lock my door at night, guys. Because, uh, oh, there is a hatch. Oh, I went in the hatch. Perfect. I was going to click on open, but the, the game was ahead of me. Knew what was going on. But that's why I don't just sort of sit in the front of my house with the door wide open, sort of scribbling in a coloring book for everyone to see. Because then you're going to get walk ins. And honestly, that's, uh, you know, that can get annoying and distracting. All right. Uh, this is the uh, bar or pub, I believe. Let's go ahead and talk to this fella here. All right, barkeep, excuse me. Yeah, boy. Um, how, let's say, grog. That's like such an old, like, medieval drink. Grog. A cup of grog, please. Nice place you have here. Want to see my scar? Yeah, let's uh, do this. Depends. Is there a good story behind it? Um, as a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of a ghost pirate, LeChuck, and his gruesome demise. Man, my accent's all over the place. I can't even remember the accent I used last. Um, how much root beer and burps etc etc frankly i don't care much for stories that promote mod moderation in drinking i do have a business to run you know oh so he only wants stories that uh encourage you to drink to excess all right give me some grog i'll bite shaken not stirred ha ha ha, ha. maybe like a shirley temple instead um you know what man if you're insulting the drink that james bond drank you got balls for a pirate you're just a pirate He's James freaking Bond. Uh, I don't care if it's not grog. It's the main least drink ever. Uh, doesn't have alcohol. Um, what's he? He's trying to ew, sell us some kind of like nasty, foul-tasting seawater. Um, I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Oh, we got to find the girl who saved us. That's totally right. I forgot what happened to her. If you have some ID, um, I left it in my other pants. Uh, the pants that I'm not currently wearing. Another guy's got my pants on right now. It's a long story, but he's also got my ID. It's the law. What, what, what are all these pirates who are like so concerned with the law all of a sudden? Uh, law around here ain't the law at all. It's Largo. Oh, Largo is the law. Gotcha. Okay. You know, I feel like we got to beat up this Largo guy. We just got to find a way to like do him in and we got to like, just have like no regrets about it. Just be, like, very confidently just stab him in the gut when no one's looking. And then get the hell out of Dodge. Um, alright. Oh. W was he waiting for me to say something? Uh-oh! It's Largo! Oh, no! Give me my usual! And put it in a real glass! Okay. 
Um, man, this larger guy is tiny. I think he has self-esteem issues. Okay. Oh, what happened? He spit on me? Or he spit in my general direction? So the Amiga's like chugging to like render this spit in high resolution. Totally is too. Ugh. Okay. Uh, fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. Yikes, this guy is uh, this is a bully from your nose. Okay, so, so tip number one is we gotta figure out a way to end Largo. We might have to move this dump to a new, like the bottom of the ocean. All right, har, 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 har. I just gave him like a billion dollars and he's still like shaking down these little businesses. That's uh, that that's hardcore, man. Uh, hey, hired help only. Oh wait, maybe we could actually ask for a job. How about that? Um, excuse me. Yeah, boy. Um, oh, who's this Kate person? Who's this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents a ship out. Uh, does some freelance pirating. Uh, and only loyalty is her highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see you. <laughs> My accent's so bad. All right, uh, can we use the piano? Can we use something here? We must be able to use the piano. Uh, I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. All right. Well, we got some valuable background information on a pirate named Kate. A pirate named Kate. I guess I should talk a little bit about the fact that, like, we are rounding the 300s, guys. We are just, like, a couple episodes away from hitting the big 3-0. Which is a huge, oh, we've been in here, which is a huge milestone for us. Um, for those of you who might just be joining us, uh, I am on a quest to try every book in the game, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. I don't always beat every game, and I'm not always good at every game, but um, the purpose of the book and my quest is to basically just try new things. And so, you know, Monkey Island 2 here is a game I've never tried before, and uh, so I'm just giving her a shot. I'm just sort of messing around with it, seeing, you know, what was this game about? What's this game like? So far, it is very similar to a lot of the other LucasArts games uh, that I did uh, play at different points over the years. Um, I find like LucasArts, I said this before, but LucasArts uh, games have a very similar style to one another. And then Sierra games have a very similar style to one another. And even games where there's like changes in tone. Like Leisure Suit Larry is very comical and like, you know, highly sexualized compared to like King's Quest, which is very fantasy and like ch uh, child friendly. Compared to like Police Quest, it's kind of like serious, um, but they all nonetheless feel like Sierra games in the same way that like LeChuck's Revenge here, like Monkey Island, is very different from like I don't know the the uh, what are some more serious ones like Full Throttle or Sam and Max or like The Dig. Like these are all Lucas Arts adventure games, and they all feel Lucas Artsy, but then they also uh, have different themes and tones and stuff to them. So it's kind of interesting. Anyway, who is this guy? Who is this fella here? Uh, the innkeeper. Um, talking to him does absolutely nothing. Okay, can we can we use the alligator? That does not also does not look like an alligator. It looks like a baby alligator. How about can we pick up the baby alligator? Uh, I would lose a figure doing that, obviously. But you're an adventure character. You're supposed to do what I tell you. Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Okay, well here, how about we engage in a thing called conversation? <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. What, what kind of inn only has one room? You joking? You need to, you're not an inn. You need to look at the definition of what an inn is because you are not it. You're not an inn, you're a one. An inn needs multiple places to accept people in. Just saying. That, that's like Economics 101. Um, ironically, this game, by the way, does not take place on Monkey Island. So, again, I never played Monkey Island 1, in fact. And I do want to play it someday. Um, but, uh, so, so maybe there's some backstory I'm missing here for Monkey Island 2. I assume LeChuck is the big bad guy from Monkey Island 1. But uh, Monkey Island 1, the video game, took place on Monkey Island. I think Monkey Island 3 
uh, May as well. I think there are even more Monkey Islands. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. But I do remember reading that Monkey Island 2 here does not take place on Monkey Island. Although I think later on it was retconned that, like, somehow, like, something in the game, like a carnival or something like that, did take place on Monkey Island. But beyond that, the game really doesn't take place on Monkey Island. Um, ooh, let's go ahead and open this box here. We've got to be able to take something. Until I figure out some new object to, uh, to, to, to take... We haven't fi figured out this section. Um, okay, so I opened the box. I looked in it, and there's, like, literally nothing else to do. The the laundry guy. This looks like an old, mean pirate. Uh, what do you know about Largo Legrand? Let's start figuring out a way to ice this guy. Um, I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. Yeah, this is, like, obviously the old man again here properly. Um, I'd like to pick up some clothes. Uh, my name is Denny. What kind of clothes did I leave? Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Um, no, I don't have my claim ticket. I lost it while being keelhawed. My mom threw it when she cleaned my room. Isn't that isn't keelhauled being like dragged in front of a boat or behind a boat or something? Dropped it in the grog. How about I left it in my other pants? That's just my excuse for everything. Everything comes down to my pants. I'm one of those guys that blames it all on my pants. Um, okay, hold on. Is there anything? Is there, there must be some dialogue option that can get through this guy. That So the other one failed. How about uh, it was stolen? That's a, that's a real concern. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. Okay. Um, how about I ask him who he is? Let's see if we can figure it out. Sure, Sonny. I can't get... what. Wait, what? That's easy. I also extract grog, spit, swamp mud. Okay, he, he cleans clothing. Um, Alright, so I guess we're going to get some dirty clothes. We'll have to drop it off to him at some point. Um, okay, so goodbye. There's also just three random hobos just napping here. This is a precarious place to nap because if you like roll over in your sleep, you're like getting dunked in the ocean. So, is there anything else here? Let's read this sign. Look at sign. What do we got going on here? Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Okay, so... Interesting. This entire town seems useless. I, I couldn't find a single person who really had anything of value to say. There's, like, no objects that i could even pick up or touch hello see a loser dork what was in here again first building oh yeah it was this nails so the nails obviously you need at some point door wait peg legs peg legs give me a peg leg man i'm a pirate pirates need a peg um okay nothing all right. Oh, well, we got a shovel. How about this? Let's go dig. That's what, that's what pirates do, right? They bury treasure and they unbury treasure. They're always putting it in and out of the ground. If if a pirate's not burying treasure, he's digging it up. Let's go find someone's treasure and go from there. So we've been in wood tick. Let's go to the beach, do some digging. Oh, we can go to the cemetery, desecrate some graves. We're totally doing that. Okay. How about use shovel? on stick no okay forget it let's uh, go ahead and pick up this stick because i feel like that's it's the first usable object besides the shovel that we have actually found let's examine this mystical stick of ours nice stick all right can we go for a late night swim or something like that oh here's the beach where we came from here are these two dudes interesting okay how about, can we go over to here? And what is this, like a uh, lighthouse or something? Open door, this door appears to be locked. Well, kick it in, man! This is, this is your first rodeo, let's go. So I guess these guys probably live in there. We don't want to be damaging their houses. Okay. Also, this music is like, I, I gotta say, it's not, it's not LucasArts' best stuff. <laughs> It's fine, I guess, but uh, it's, uh, 
I don't know, kind of, kind of like bland? I don't know, I don't know what to say. Okay, we got a swamp and a cemetery. There's two more places to explore today. Um, again, just checking this game out. Um, you know another sort of interesting little bit of tidbit, a little bit of uh, trivia about this game, a little tidbit of trivia, is that uh, one of the inspirations for this game was the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yeah, not the movie, but the ride. The movie was based on the ride, uh, if you can believe it. They've based movies on literally everything. When they said they were making a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, so they were basing a movie off of an amusement park ride, I honestly was like, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel. I thought it was such a dumb idea. But actually, uh, the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie I thought was uh, pretty good. It was a solid movie. In fact, I still like that movie. The sequels, I really think are awful and terrible and if you like them I apologize I don't think they're good at all but uh, the first one was uh, terrific uh, and the ride is actually pretty good so I think the ride has been revamped these days to like include Johnny Depp and stuff I don't know if the game is frozen or what's happening oh there it goes um, but back in the day uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride had nothing to do with Johnny Depp it was just like a bunch of like animatronic uh animatronic pirates and it was actually like really really neat um i can't dig that daddy what the heck okay is there anything we can use this on i i thought there was going to be like an open grave or something on tombstones interesting okay well forget it let's just walk around and explore and see what there is to do can i go into the tomb at least nothing can I open the tomb? You give me a, a, a cemetery, there's like nothing to do in it? This is insane. This is crazy. Walk to, okay, walk to the graves. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember being on on the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ride years ago. And it, it's like a surreal experience. Like it's, it's actually pretty cool. It sounds kind of boring, but like it's a really crazy, um, really crazy setup. Uh, really impressive animatronics and there's just all these pirates there's big pirate ships having battles and stuff like you feel like you've been transported to a movie set or like another another world like it was like pretty damn cool um okay i don't know what the point of that was like seemed like a lot of nothing okay so man may, you know what maybe we are gonna have to look up a tutorial just a little because i thought there's gonna be more to do here but the cemetery seems pretty barren to me. Um, and then all we got left is the swamp, I think. I think. Okay, we got the swamp, beach, wood tick. Like nothing else. All right, let's check out the swamp. And if we can't find enough fun stuff to do, we will sort of take a peek at a tutorial and sort of see what we were missing here. But, um... Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Like, I can't think of anything else that was like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It kind of, like, just is its own thing. Oh, what does this say? Look at the sign. This says, International House of Mojo. Interesting. How about we just straight up open? It doesn't seem to open. Okay. Can we, I don't know, push, push then? Push it. I better get in it first. Oh. Okay. Oh, and row two. Oh, because we have a stick. Look at this. Whoa. All right. So we solved, uh, I think, a very basic puzzle. Whoa, look at this. We're, we're going to our own little uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, my God, the Skull Amy. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of neat. Sort of like a little piratey swamp adventure. And, oh, wow. We've, like, found a whole little shop of something i guess um oh guybrush threepwood it's been actually this is a female it's been a long time since you came okay hold on do i know you from somewhere how about that um do i know you from somewhere oh god he's california now ah we often forget those we help most we do it was i who told you to do away with lechuk i told you where to find the voodoo anti-root uh, and how to turn it into a powerful ghost-dissolving potion that you needed. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's like Keanu Reeves all of a sudden. How's business? 
Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight, although Largo took most of them. You want to help me kill this Largo guy? Okay, tell me about Largo. Oh, tell me about Largo. Tell me about this Largo guy. Well, he's a weak little man who bullies uh, this whole lot. If he's so weak, why is he bullying people? Uh, he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. But LeChuck's history, I got rid of him myself. Evil can never be completely destroyed. You will see. Okay. Um, why don't you just put a curse on Largo? Like, maybe there's... Maybe we could, like, help each other here. Uh, my most powerful voodoo magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's persons. And no one brave is brave enough to get them. Oh. Is that true? Okay, well, what ingredients do you need? Maybe... Oh, man. If we could kill Largo, that would be the perfect video. Um, are you willing to help me make one? Maybe. You tell me what you need, and I will tell you if I can get the personal artifacts of the victim. Uh, one of each of these four basic groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Well, we could get a thread. We also could get hair from his head. We also could get body hair. And then something that's dead. A lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid. Ooh, fluid from his body. From his dead relatives. Oh, interesting. Um, take this shopping list. All right. So how are we going to get fluid out of his body? Hair off his head I can do. We'll just grab it and run. But the rest... Th those are Those are high orders. Um, page 139, Aunt Helen special voodoo doll mix, something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hmm. <gasps> oh, I know how we can get fluid out of him. He spits in the bar. So if we could get like something to catch the spit. We got that. Then we can grab his hair and run. We could also rip a piece of his clothes off as we do it. So then we just need to go. We just need to convince him. Have a have a heart to heart discussion about the location of our deceased ancestors. Then after he spits, grab the hair and the thread, make a run for it, and then also f go dig up one. Oh, that's what the. Oh, that's what the shovels for. Oh, in the cemetery, we just need to know where to dig. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do we know his last name? We might. So we just need to sort of look at some of these tombstones. And we might be able to... F oh, I'm figuring stuff out, guys. Thread's going to be hard. I don't actually know how we're going to get the hair and the, the thread. But the spit and the dead body. You need a dead body? I can get you a dead body. I can also get you spit. Spit of any kind, any color, from any person. I, those two things are easy. Okay, so we just need to figure out which one of these people is one of Largo's ancestors. This could take a while. Alright, let's have a look at this tombstone here. And we got... Anything? Uh, Marco... What? what? Marco Largo Leg Legrand? The good news is he's bre he bred? Hold, whoa, hold on. Wow, that is so lucky. Uh, this creepy... This is a creepy feeling. Oh, he's totally doing it. Wow, that that was way easier than I thought it would be. But okay, we, to we totally got a piece of his ancestor. So now we need hair, thread, and spit. Um, okay. So... I guess we go back to town. <laughs> it's like Legend of Zelda. Do 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 do. But his pants fell down. What? <laughs> Insert disc two. Do I want to see this? I'd swear on my grandfather's grave. Something something something. Was wasn't ready to uh, to notice that. But all right, we have a bone. We have successfully desecrated a grave. Man, I can't believe we're actually gonna ice this Largo guy. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's head back to town. So here's here's my thinking. Back in town, 
There's, there's got to be an item that we missed. There's no way that there's nothing. Or it could also be the beach. I'm willing to bet it's in town, though. We found absolutely nothing in town. The beach is where the, like, the opening cutscene was, so maybe there's no reason to go there. But, okay. So the first question is, what are we missing? We need another item or two in order to get this stuff off Largo. Oh, hey, look at this. There's a pile of paper over here. Can I just straight up steal it? I can. All right, we found an item. Blank paper. Interesting. He doesn't seem to mind that I just took all his paper. That's fine. Okay, so there, there is some stuff. Is there anything over here that we're missing? <laughs> Mad Marty. He looks like a Mad Marty. Oh, look, they have names. Men of the Low Moral Fiber Pirates. It's gross. Um, oh, and a bucket. And a bucket. Okay, let's let's see if we can get this bucket. Can we even get over here? We can. Hey, oh, hey, leave that alone. Um, sorry, is this your bucket? I don't see your name on it. Well, no. So you won't mind. Okay, wait. What's happening? I guess not. Uh, okay, we have a. Okay, we have a bucket. This is totally what we're gonna catch this spin in. I'm calling it right now. Um, we're gonna MacGyver something together. And okay, so we have we have that. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, I looked up to see like what else we're missing, um, and apparently we can steal this guy's monocle, which is hilarious. Like if you just wait for a second, he will apparently put, or maybe we'll. Oh, there he. Will. Pick it up. Yeah, we totally stole his monocle. He's like, "What? where the hell did my monocle go, man? <laughs> Where's my monocle? Okay, we have a dude's monocle. I uh, feel bad for that guy. Um, okay, apparently there's something else we can do over here, too. Um, walk to window. What the heck? You can jump over the side? And like commando your way into a window oh my god we missed so much okay well my my little experiment of not using any kind of guides obviously uh would not have gotten us this far okay i thought we were so much closer to, to getting this guy than we were um all right this is totally a knife and i'm totally gonna take it if i can all right we are now armed oh the street F forget about spit let's just get his guts that's uh that's fluidy right uh, what else is going on in here? Stoves and canned goods. What the hell is this? Vichy Swas... Vichy Swazé? What the heck is that? All right, back out the window from whence we came. That guy is, like, totally in phase. He's like, yeah, people have been dropping in and out of the window, like, all night. Um, interesting. You know, I've always thought of adventure games here as, like, kind of, like, choose-your-own-adventure uh, stories. But in fact, they're more like, um, I, I mean, I guess they're more puzzle games. They're more puzzly in nature. Um, we got we to gotta wait till uh, What's-His-Face comes down here and uh, spits again. So, uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, boy. Let's just have a random conversation with him uh, while we wait. Um, but yeah, I always thought of adventure games as sort of like choose-your-own-adventure style games, but they're really more like puzzle games. Um, although what's interesting is like, like adventure games, people lost interest in them at some point. Like this game was made in the golden era uh, of like adventure style games. And at the time, like it was pretty common to like see adventure games out there. And, like people played adventure games, but then like all of a sudden there was like a decline in them for some reason. Like I don't fully understand it. Like, how come adventure games, um, like, people lost interest in it? Um, I don't 100% get that. But it, they did. I mean, one theory I have is that the developers started to uh, introduce adventure-style mechanics into uh, many other uh, games. So it's like story mechanics started to become more and more common and just other games that weren't primarily adventure games. And when that happened, it's like the motivation, I guess, to play solo adventure games started to go away. Maybe people got tired of like the very difficult convoluted puzzles because like adventure games have sort of made a revival with the Telltale uh, games out there. But uh, the Telltale games are very um, are much less puzzly 
than these old games. Like, these old games are, like, very obtuse compared to Telltale games, where things are, like, far more obvious than what to do. Telltale really is, like, choose your own adventure, uh, kind of, like, just, you know, click through what you want to have happen. Whereas here, these are much more like, you know, you gotta fi you gotta figure some stuff out. You gotta go on long walks. You gotta, like, you know, sit around and, like, just brainstorm for days between play sessions trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, so we might have totally messed up this game because I don't know if Largo's gonna come back and spit on the wall again, but without his spit, I think we're screwed. So you know what I just realized? Um, I think I actually, I think the spit was still on the wall from last time. If you see over, okay, hold on, where's my mouse cursor? Right here, that's totally spit. Uh, there was spit here before. You may have noticed a slight graphical upgrade here. I've actually switched over to the DOS version. So, okay, long story short, I don't wanna end this video without actually killing uh, Largo, but yeah, his spit was there. We didn't need him to come back down to the basement. I reset the game for nothing. I decided when I couldn't get him to come back, I thought uh, I was locked out of the spit. I'm so used to Sierra Adventure games that like uh, just put you down dead end and you're stuck forever. Um, that I was like, okay, I'll reset and off camera, I'll like get back up to this point. But I did, and it was taking forever to get here because the game was so slow and I kept having to switch this. And then the game crashed on me. So I decided to hell with it. So I went ahead and got the DOS version here. And the DOS version runs so much better. And look, actually, there's like fading effects when you like go into the shadows and stuff. So it's more than just, uh, I mean, it is just sort of like a, a minor upgrade, but it is so nice to not have to constantly switch discs. There's music in the background, as you can hear. There were sound effects in the bar. Um, I feel like the DOS version Version is way more advanced than the Amiga version actually um, and so actually you know I'm kind of glad that we uh, we went this route and that we did try it but anyway I'm on my quest I got a bucket of mud I got Largo's spit and a bone we just need hair and threads and we we got this guy so I'm just gonna finish this up real quick and then we can like see the end of Largo okay we're totally gonna free this guy's alligator here and there you go buddy you go chase that gator man Old peg biter, get loose. <laughs> All right, off he goes. And uh, now I'm pretty sure Largo is the one who's staying in, in this hotel. So we're gonna go mess with him. All right, this is totally Largo's place. We're totally gonna steal everything we can, such as, uh, where's pickup? Pickup, his toupee. All right, well, we got his hair. <laughs> we literally stole his hair. Can we pee in his bed? What else can we do in here? Oh, we got kicked out. Oh, he was not happy to find us in here. All right, well, to hell with him. We have more important business to get to. Okay, we're gonna set up some kind of like little trap here with the stick. And we we'll use the monocle. Okay, and apparently we missed an item here too. Look how obscure this is. Pick up string. It looks like it's something in the background, like it's right around there. Like, man, could you get any more obscure? Like, I never would, uh, like, I never would have found that by myself. If I, if I well, didn't look up a walkthrough, guys, we literally, there's no way we'd even see the end of Largo. That is ridiculous. That is crazy. That's just like, that's not even like a puzzle to solve. That's just like, how can you like spend forever combing over every pixel of a screen looking for some tiny little insignificant shape that you might have missed? Like, that's nuts. Okay, so now we can use the stick with the string. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, open the box. Then we can use the stick with the box. Use the stick. We're making a makeshift trap is what we're doing. Then we're using the string with the stick. And then what? Uh, we want to use the cheese squiggles with the box and then we want to okay hold on then we're gonna like move over here give this rat an opportunity to go and eat the cheese squiggles and then we will pick up the string yoink what we didn't catch the rat okay hold on hold on open the box there's ch still cheese squiggles there Use the stick with the box. I can I can do this, guys. I can do this. Aha! We did it! We cut the rats! Okay, now what? 
Okay, we picked up the cowering rat. He looks like a little pig thing. That does not look like a rat to me. That looks weird. Okay, we got the rat. Yay. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? There we go. Bucket of mud on your head, buddy. Whoever did this is gonna pay. See you, sucker. I can't get this thing off my head. All right, so that's how you deal with a bully when you're literally robbing him. When I get this off my head, somebody's gonna pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Don't worry, we're about to literally kill him, so... Throwing mud on his head is like... That's a mercy. Man, we're re really playing the long con here. I think I just have to kill a bit of time. So we got his clothes all muddy. I think what we're gonna do is end up stealing his laundry because he's gonna go to pay to have his clothes cleaned and we're gonna like steal the ticket and steal his clothes. And we're gonna, I think, throw a, a rat into his food. Like this is like, this is like such an elaborate ploy. Why don't we just corner this guy and get him in an alley? I just don't get it. Adventures, man. It's always the most longest, most convoluted route that they can possibly devise. But we're going with it. This is the world's longest con right now. You're making me mad, Marty. That's not my name, don't wear it out. Oh, that is my name. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight. Party tonight, sure. I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. Okay, yada, yada, yada. He's dropping his laundry off. We're totally gonna rob him of his, of his laundry, man. You tell him I'll be back to pick it up or else. Okay, I'll relay the message, sir. Aha! Is that a laundry ticket? Tell you what, I'm, I'm not only going to tell the guy that you're going to pick up your laundry, uh, I'm straight up going to pick it up for you, buddy. And I'm going to steal it. I'm stealing your clothes is basically what's happening. Ah, uh, Largo. You fool. Do you have any laundry for me? I'll see what I have ready for you, Mr. Legrande. Um, interesting. Oh, <laughs> like a whole little laundromat. It's a pirate themed laundromat. There's like a peg leg. Who had a, or a dead parrot? Interesting. Who had these things dry cleaned? And here it is. A brazier? That's totally not mine, dude. A pearly white bra. What? Alright, time to poison some food. Enough of, enough of these small scale shenanigans. Time to get hardcore with this. Let's make him eat a rat. We're gonna stick this rat into the pot. Which is also cruel because this rat is not dead, but we're straight up throwing it into like boiling water. Good thing. Oh no, it's a cold soup. Never mind. What is it? Vicious Swaz. Oh, isn't that the soup in like Batman Returns? When, uh, and then Michael Keaton spits it out. He's like, it's cold. And he's like, it's supposed to be cold, sir. Um, Alright, so cold soup with a rat swimming in it. Delicious. All right, let's let's uh, let's see if this guy notices that his uh, soup is straight up being uh, L poisoned. Uh, hello, sir. Converse with me, sir. My good sir. Yeah, boy. Um, how's the stew tonight? Is it full of rats? Stew? How's the gouache? We only serve gourmet chilled soups here, gourmet. In a, in a bar in the basement of a... Uh, of a ship, a pirate ship, yeah. Let me go see how he's doing. I feel like that guy is getting fired. Excellent, sir. You won't, won't you have a taste? I think I will. Ugh. Oh my God. What kind of demented recipe book are you using? He he he. All right. So we've got an innocent person fired, um, and we're tormenting a short. Uh, cruel man with self-esteem issues. This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life. Uh, look at all that hair. Ugh. What is this stuff? How am I ever going to get rid of this junk? Oh. Maybe I'll take that soup off your hands and serve it to a certain Largo dude. Well, here's your soup. <laughs> what? He's still serving it to me. That's, uh... That's hardcore, man. If the soup is so disgusting, you fired your only chef. You're still gonna serve it? How'd you like your career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? I suspect there is. Yeah, you interested? Um, sure, I'll give it a shot. Why the heck not? Is that a yellow submarine behind us? Oh, look at the third window there. Is that a yellow submarine? 
Uh, now go strap on an apron and get to work. All right, we didn't even negotiate pay or benefits, like. All right, well, I guess this now is my kitchen. Joke's on him, though, because I have no intention of working. hey oh, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> he's just like there, like, oh yeah, the guy, oh, that guy's been working in the back all night. I'm sure he's been getting a lot done, like cut to like a dead empty kitchen, like there's no one there. Like I pieced out like two and a half hours ago. <laughs> His kitchen staff just fleeing on foot. All right, I think we have all the ingredients that we need to permanently curse this man to an eternity. So we have a bone, we have a spit. I guess that's his cl cloth and I guess that's his hair. So let's do this, all right. So we set out today with one goal, which was to try this game without walkthroughs. That goal fell to the side very quickly because it turns out it would be impossible. I wouldn't even be able to find the string, guys, let alone every other complicated action we took. This, this is very, like most adventure games, this guy's in it for a long con, like a long, convoluted, complicated con. He, he doesn't get revenge on someone by like punching them in the face. He's like, first I'm gonna find some string, then I'm gonna free an alligator, then I'm gonna steal some Cheetos, then I'm gonna get a guy fired, then I'm gonna show up to your house and steal your mom's bra and your toupee, then I'm gonna get you all muddy. You know, like it's such an elaborate ploy. It's like worse than Zemo's ploy in uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, was it Winter Soldier? No, it was uh, Civil War, Mer Captain America's Civil War. Um, anyway, about that voodoo doll. Um, so now our mission is to just get get Largo. He brought me all the ingredients. I have his toupee. Sweet. Yeah, we're just gonna get some sweet vengeance on this cruel little man. And I hope hopefully I get my billion dollars back. But that's all I all I want. I uh, brought me any other ingredients? Yes, I have. I have some of his spit. Go ahead and mash that. What kind of what kind of voodoo doll is she making? It's gonna be made of hair, spit, an old bone, and a bra. That is, I don't even want to see this voodoo doll. Um, is a bone of his grandfather. All right, perfect. Grandpa's bone. What else he got? We also have a bra that is his, I suppose. Like, where did a bra come from in this game? I don't understand that part. Yes, that will work. All right. Anything else? I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. <clears throat> and now for the ingredients. All right, let's see how she does this, I'm curious. Dandruff flake from his head. Single piece of Largo's thread, which is the bra. I guess that's his bra. A drop of fluid from his body. And a single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate all right sounds delish this ought to be good two four six eight who do we assassinate largo largo yeah i i didn't even have to see that come up guys i knew where she was going she was going with largo all right now that looks just like him thanks voodoo lady one more thing some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have limited range. Uh, you will have to get close to Largo. Very close. I mean like, find ourselves in a passionate embrace with one another, and then I stab the voodoo doll. I'm totally using the knife with the voodoo doll. Maybe I'll just use these regulation voodoo pins that came with the doll. Oh man! I want to like gut this thing. I don't want to like stab a pin in him and have him go like, ow, like my neck is tense. I want to like literally like slice the voodoo doll across the belly and have like his innards just like, Bleh! like oh God, my guts just spilled all over the, the floor. What happened? <laughs> I'm a cruel bastard. When I want revenge, I wanted hardcore guys. I don't know what else to tell you. All right, let's find this SOB. Largo, we're coming for you. Come out, come out wherever you are. Hey, what are you doing in here? Use the pins in the voodoo doll. It's a little mean ugly looking just like Largo. What? Use the pins in the voodoo doll. What? Use pins in voodoo doll. Oh yeah, buddy? Oh, take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. 
What? What do you th who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. Uh, I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, how are you doing that? Leave a pin in, man. Largo Legrand, you are no good vicious two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Uh, I already spent all your money. Already? What did you buy? Command you to leave this island. Just you try and make me. Oh man. <laughs> he's st he's going right for the butt. He's stabbing him repeatedly in the buttocks. That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. I should have killed him. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Did she have one of these? What is that? Is that LeChuck's be Oh, I saved his beard. How grotesque. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. What, he stuffed it in his pants? Boy, it is alive. What does that mean? Oh, God. <laughs> now we can bring him back to life. Uh-oh. That was stupid of me. The most fearsome pirate in all of time will soon sail the seas again. His beard is wriggling around in that guy's pants in the meantime. Whoops. Um, all right. Well, kind of a good news, bad news situation. We did get L Largo, but uh, now we might he might resurrect LeChuck. Um, but I blew his body to a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be rotten, partially decomposed, yes. Uh, and I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. Uh, he's going to be looking for me. Yikes. Well, it seems like we have gone ahead and in the process of getting revenge, we have forgotten to not resurrect our nemesis. And so now we might have opened up a whole can of worms. Um, so that's, that's, that's fun. But um, yeah, all right. Well, you know what? I feel like we made some good progress here with uh, with Monkey Island. I stuck with it to try and make sure we at least got to see some of the game. Um, can you just kill me now and get it over with? It's pretty amusing. I think the only option now is to just like peace out. Like we got to get off this island ASAP. If uh, LeChuck can't find me, LeChuck can't kill me, if you know what I mean. Basically, we got to flee like a coward. So on the far end of the island here, apparently is, uh, we can just like bail out of the whole uh, pirate island experience here, maybe get to some safety. There is a bit, little peninsula to visit, which is something we've not seen yet, the houseboat. We're going to give this uh, dastardly pirate captain here a monocle and hopefully that is payment enough for him to help us, help us scond us away to safety. But uh, anyway, yeah, we've had uh, we've had a fun experience here, I think, with uh, with uh, give monocle to Captain Dread. Uh, we've had a fun experience here with uh, with Monkey Island too, and uh, so we should wrap this up. So Monkey Island Two here's one of the games in the book, One Thousand One Video Games. You uh, must play before we, you die. And uh, thinking about it, I. You know, I always kind of think of games in kind of two ways. I kind of think like, are they are they decent games, and then are they must plays? As far as decent games go, I think this one is decent, but it does fall into the sort of adventure game category in the sense of like, um, this is not going to appeal to everyone. So you probably are going to have to look up a walkthrough for some things, um, unless you just really want to take your time with this and you really like savoring these adventure games. Like to be honest, the string thing, I'm still hung up on the string. Uh, the fact that you had to go and like hover over every pixel in uh, that voodoo hut until you found the string. Like there, was, there wasn't even anything, oh my god, there's a deep, dark, crazy castle in this game. That's cool. There wasn't even any hint that, that string was like a thing you needed. So I feel like that was a really cheap shot. I feel like that was not super cool. We get to watch uh, Largo here try and revise LeChuck as we wrap things up. Hey look, there's his like dastardly corpsey body. Crazy. It's like zombie pirates. This game has a lot of cool stuff. So, um, because of the obscurity of the puzzles and stuff, I think, like, for most gamers these days, 
if you're not super into adventure games, it will be tedious for you and you probably won't enjoy this. So would I say that this game is a must play? I think definitely not. But do I think that this game nonetheless is a good game and would appeal to um, certain people who are looking for this kind of thing? Totally. And as I say, this game has sort of the traditional LucasArts um, sort of humor and style. There's some interesting environments to experience. The humor wasn't too bad in this, but again, I, I don't typically sort of like ha-ha, like belly laugh at these LucasArts games. It's more like kind of roll your eyes jokes. But for what they are, you know, it's a cute, humorous game. It's got a lot of personality. Um, it's kind of fun. So yeah, all in all, not a bad game, uh, I would say. And uh, maybe if I had had this when I was younger, I would have sort of, uh, you know, played through it. Um, but obviously, as an adult now, um, it's hard to find the time to really sort of, you know, like, I could, I could whip out a, a walkthrough and play through this game, but, like, to find the time to spend weeks playing this game, figuring it out, I just don't have that kind of time anymore. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. What do you guys think of uh, Monkey Island uh, 2, LeChuck's Revenge here? This is one of the games a lot of people said I had to play, and they couldn't believe I hadn't played it before. So, um, if you were one of those people, what do you think? You know, what was the thing about Monkey Island 2 that you, like, loved growing up? And, and what sort of, uh, what, what, what are, like, good memories that you have of this game that you would like to share, that you would like to impart on us? Let us know, like, why this game is awesome. You know, share those thoughts and ideas in the comments down below. Um, and as always, guys... Um, whether you have agreed with me or not, hopefully I have at least entertained you. If you have been entertained today, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because I will be back soon with another game in the Thousand One uh, Game Museum's Play Before You Die quest. And I will also say too, by the way, that we are, once again, you know, we're right at the cusp of 300 games, which is pretty phenomenal. So be sure to sort of, uh, you know, stick around with us as we like roll over into our fourth year of doing this quest it's hard to believe that that much time has gone by and definitely you know if you enjoy these videos you know one thing you could do for me that would be super helpful is share these videos or share the fact that my channel exists with friends of yours who you think might actually watch my stuff you know if you if you can help bring other people to my channel that is like the greatest gift you can give me that's the greatest appreciation you could give me to show me that you actually like my videos you want me to continue on with this quest continue making more so uh, yeah but until next time mateys it's been fun y'all take care of yourselves and from gaming j and uh, monkey island 2 peace you scurvy dogs yar <laughs> see you later guys